This is Jasmine. Jasmine works as a mental health nurse. She rents her home from a private landlord. Jasmine lives in an area where house prices and rents are high to be near her work, so she spends around 40% of her income on rent. If Jasmine loses her job, she faces eviction because her landlord says he doesn't want a tenant on housing benefits. She doesn't qualify for social housing, and even if she did, there isn't enough of it in her area. There are currently over 1.1 million households on waiting lists for social housing across England. And in recent years, the number of households like Jasmine's, who spend more than a third of their income on renting from private landlords, has risen to 1.2 million in England. This is due to a lack of affordable social housing, cuts to housing benefits and rents rising faster than people's incomes. In total, 4.8 million households find it difficult to afford their homes, whether they're renting or paying a mortgage. So what could the government do to make housing more affordable for people like Jasmine, who are on low to middle incomes? At IPPR, we propose a new type of social housing, the living rent. In this model, rather than your landlord setting a price, the price of your rent is linked to the average income in your area. This living rent system would be fairer and would also give people like Jasmine more peace of mind by offering longer and more secure contracts. It will be aimed at people like nurses, police officers and teachers who don't qualify for social housing but are still struggling to pay rent. But what about those on the lowest incomes? For them, the government also needs to build 90,000 social rent homes a year. And for many people, housing benefits don't cover their full housing costs. The government should ensure that housing benefits always keep pace with rising rents and are high enough to cover the cost of 50% of privately rented homes in any local area. A living rent, more social housing and a safety net to support people's housing costs. That's what we need to make housing affordable for Jasmine and millions like her.